Hi, and welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Challenge. This is Christy here. You'll notice we have Sarah going down into our brand new cellar. So I spent a little bit of time giving them a cellar that I wanted to. They had some money and I had to sell some manure and upgrade parts and were able to do it. But we kind of have to hop right in because I got the notification that it is George's birthday. It's five in the morning, but I wanted to do George and Thomas both their birthdays at the same time. So we need a cake because Thomas needs to blow out candles. So Sarah is making a sponge cake at five in the morning, but I have a few things I want to do and they really depend on Thomas surviving into childhood. So before we get into that, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. But if Thomas, if he survives, I want him and Adam to go around to the other members of the house or of the family and go visit Eleanor and Matthew because they want to really prep him to run the family. So he needs to know all of his cousins and you know aunts, uncles, all of that, because he's going to be kind of the head. Um, Adam is, he knows most everyone. I'm pretty sure this food is spoiled. Oh no, oh, that reset, it's no longer spoiled. <laughs> we had some fried fowl. Adam went hunting and did not get attacked or anything like that. So that is wonderful, but it's a little bit of an update, it feels, kind of more open now. I wanted to do a ladder, but you can't bring things up and down. So Adam, why don't you replace this water? It is 1311. And then, so George doesn't age up on his own. You're going to come age him up. And once we have this cake, it will be Thomas's birthday. So two boys, two potential heirs. Um, this is going to be risky. Okay. We have 27 bucks but we will be spending $10 of that on candles. Oh, okay. Not even going to set it out. So our youngest George is becoming an infant, a little redhead, and he's intense. Maybe it's because his older brothers don't like him. If you remember, they both were like unhappy. They were angry or sad that he was born. So that is great. But, okay, so, George, we're not going to roll yet. We're going to age up Thomas, our little sleepy head, always sleepy. And, Sarah, why don't you help him blow out candles? I'm so curious what he's going to look like as a child, because I feel like all the male toddlers look so angry. So, hopefully, we do get to see you. All right, Thomas, he got some social and motor skills. But, um, I think he's going to take a little bit more after Adam because that's how he's going to be really prepped by Adam. So he's going to take kind of a lot of his characteristics and, you know, I feel like heroic, I think that could work and tender Adam, I think is a softy and then a music lover. I'm not really sure it would be nice, but maybe that will be like one of the other kids. So I think instead we're going to do a child of nature and um, it doesn't really matter what we do for your aspiration. Oh my gosh, you look so sweet. Well, first we need to give him um, both the kids updates to their looks so we can get their portraits and then we'll be doing the death rolls. So we are starting it off um, strong here and you are smelly so i'm gonna pop into cast real quick okay here we get a look at thomas so so cute um i'm in love with him and i do need to go through and find more child cc for like medieval times particularly boys um i just especially pants i don't have anything that works so, but this is Thomas, and then we can get a little look at George. They all have like little dimples, it's cute. But now, before we get too attached, let's do their death rolls. All right, for Thomas, he has a much better chance. He just can't roll a 9 or a 19. 
And then for George, it will be 12, 16, or 18. So we're going to do Thomas first. And he gets a one. Perfect. We get to keep our air. I love it. And now for George, a 10. That's good, right? Yes. Okay, we get to keep both of them. I'm so happy. Oh, and we just come to Beatrice and doing some watering. She looks very focused. But Thomas, all right, you, I think we have our heir. I, if he's made it to childhood, we have a, just like a good chance. But I think he's going to like upset his sisters because they have a difficult relationship and I have a feeling that they're going to give preferential treatment to him and he's going to get the upstairs like all to himself. So, um, yeah, we need, I think we'll have to get a bunk bed for in here. I don't, I know it's cheap, but I don't know if it like costs less than 17 bucks. It is a 20 bucks. Oh, do I have anything to sell? Um, we can get rid of this in double bed for now. I think that's fine. And we will get this um, bunk bed. So the girls, um, we probably shouldn't have a, a candle. Oh, where is the candle? So that might be like a fire hazard. <laughs> we'll put that right there. But okay. We made a little money there. <laughs> We're at 21. And it is 7 a.m. So I think we'll have time to today to go see our cousins. And I think this also means... Isabella will be aging up very soon if she hasn't already. Okay, Isabella is still a toddler, so she's going to be aging up very soon. And Gunther did age up, so we need to do death rolls for him. And then we'll also see Eleanor's family. Elizabeth is a child, and I think Amara should be close to aging up too. So, but we won't be doing death rolls for them. George is doing fine. His needs are good. Peter, our next toddler. When is his birthday? His birthday's next week. So his is the next one coming up. And then we will have... Oh, wait. No, George is the next one coming up. And Marie. Oh, boy. And then it'll be Sarah and Peter. And now that we have, like, our three boys, I think we'll give, like, Sarah this year as a break and then maybe in 13 12 we'll try to have one more just to be safe maybe they want another girl that could be nice Adam you will have to repair it and we should probably check on the rest of our house okay we can do some harvesting I think the chickens probably should need some food we have um, one egg that should be hatching soon. And we don't have money to get a cow. I would like to get another cow and also replace the blacksmith table, but I built a cellar instead. So one of the, here, Marie, why don't you come and scatter some feed, like the rest of our money, and go ahead and clean the coop. Beatrice, continue on in your gardening, because you can't actually, like, harvest anything because you don't have a high enough mental skill yet, but you're working on it. And then uh, Thomas, we will have you, you're going to be like working on your skills to be successful or what they think will be successful. He's going to be, um, you know, like learning archery. We'll have him try to like work on his literacy and uh, eventually maybe he will start with blacksmithing and taking care of animals, but he'll have to go, like, hunting. I think they can't do that until they're, like, teens, though. Um, we'll let you get a bath when your mother is done. But I think Thomas is going to have it a little bit easier compared to his sisters. All right. Anything else you can do about out here? No. We did lose our apple trees. They died. Which, I hadn't had any plants die from these lot trades until now. So maybe you will, no, you can only put that in your inventory. That would be gross. Why don't you go gather some more water? And Marie, you are 
I'm going to throw, don't throw away the egg. It's not bad. I just put it in there. Ugh. Okay, go throw this away. That was not a spoiled egg. And Adam also got a personality discovery. He has the neat trait now. I and George is going to go night-night on the floor. It's okay. But also before I forget, I wanted to bring up the spreadsheet that you can access as well to see um, my, my challenge. Um, you can also create your own. But I wanted to go. I have other death and events tab that I've shown before. I don't think I showed this last time, but I did add a couple more on here. So I also forgot to do Adam's role for an adult, so he got a pass and no one reminded me, <laughs> but it's okay. We will do that for Sarah. But I added, um, if they get caught pickpocketing or stealing, there's a few things that could happen, and it's going to depend on who the royals are, like who, like if the king and queen, how heavy handed or caring they are. So it could be no repercussions, small fine, large fine, jail, or execution, which might be if they steal from the royal family or a noble family. But if they're like really good people and they, pr they won't do the execution, you might just go to jail. I also wanted to add something positive. So we have a chance of prosperity, and this will start in 1320 because I just added it and it's now 1311, but you'll roll four sided die, and if they get a three, they would receive a 20% bonus of their current household funds. So if we have $1,000, they would get a $200 bonus. And that would be the beginning of every new decade, and it'll just depend on which household we are in at that time. So if we are in the main household, they will get the bonus if they get a three. But if we end up being like a side household, or I guess even the royal family, they will have the chance as well. So I thought it'd just be nice to add something positive there. I'd been watching, I believe it was Hazy Summer and her Extreme Challenge, and added a couple nice things, and I thought that would be a good idea. Oh, honestly, I had gotten a notification, I didn't notice it, but our bills are 724 should have paid that before I made the seller, but I didn't think about it. Okay, you're so hungry. Go take a piece. Um, oh, did you not? I thought I told you to cook, but you didn't. Okay, well, we'll do that when we get back. All right, I did check. Isabella ages up today, so we might... I wish I kept the sponge cake because I just brought it with then and had her age up. So I might age her up in cast while we're, when we go visit, if she isn't already a child. I don't know if that will happen at like midnight or not, but that way we can do her and Gunther's death rolls. But okay, Thomas, are you almost ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, our water's about to be shut off. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take father and son off to meet the family. And here we are with Elizabeth. Her family is just such craziness. Here come me, Elizabeth here. Uh, friendly introduction. Let's check in on Eleanor. I did um, yeah, give a little family advice. Um, there's still Eckbert living here, Leoric's brother. But I did move out. Helga and the Landgrab babies. Okay, you I think you and your cousin are getting along. She is so cute. But it was like almost too stressful to come into this household because it was a mess. But I think with it just being pretty much Eleanor and Leoric, it will be fine now. But we also have to see the other children. So come and knock on the door. You got one of your chickens out here on guard salsa. So we have Howard here. Um, can Eleanor, you introduce us to him? And there's still, there's Amara. I don't know where she is. It's right here. So Thomas, why don't you come and meet Amara? On level, social level three. Cute. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna, like, make her have any more babies. I'll let them do that on their own if they choose. I mean, you really had to come out in a towel. Thank you, sir. 
Okay, Howard likes you. Why don't you like play peekaboo with him? And okay, you. I think they get along with their family. That's good. I know. Why don't you get to know Amara? Okay, she is intelligent. We got charisma skill. How much longer? Okay, you age up tomorrow. You're about to be a child, so it'd be good to get to know and you know, do not make a mess. That would be very unbecoming. I don't think. Uh, talk to Howard. I don't know if that will like make it so you know him or not. Thomas um, could play with Elizabeth. I don't know if she likes archery, but he he probably is like, I want to do it. Oh, look at that cousins. They're so cute. He looks very proud. The arrow went like straight down, but that's okay. And he has a little gap in his tooth. But Elizabeth almost looks so much older than him. She's only by a couple days. Yeah, the arrow. The arrow didn't go very far. And I don't know if Adam knows, like, Leoric, uh, Eleanor's husband. But, nope, you don't. Oh, he's yelling at the dog. So we should meet him. I mean, he's going to be around. I don't really remember what their relationship's like <laughs> between Eleanor and him. Hopefully they're happy. I mean, she's happy with the kids. Oh, Elizabeth beat Thomas one to nothing. Oh, but you know what? We'll have to like try to invite cousins over, and I want to do maybe like a family reunion once every decade. So now that the family's getting a little bit bigger, okay, you I think are really liking archery. But okay, I think maybe it's about four o'clock. You guys are getting hungry. We spent a little bit of time here. Let's go see Matthew and Cassandra. Oh, it's raining, but this is like a long trek for them. And so I wanted to get here you know, at least early in the day. Why don't, oh, you do know Matthew, who is still with this bunny. But um, here, yeah, come knock on the door. Cassandra is freaking out. Okay, yeah, we wanna, go. Oh. There's some plum bite. Okay, let's get inside. Elizabeth is running out. Yes, no, stay in there. Um, can you yeah, go meet Gunther? He's right hanging out on the floor. And can everyone else come inside? Nope. Gotta gotta make a mess. So Adam knows the family except for Gunther. I like how um Thomas can just meet him, but Matthew or Adam has to be introduced. So let's see if uh, now maybe Cassandra will introduce <laughs> straight for a nap. But yeah, it's been a lot, a long trek. But okay, I don't think Gun no Gunther does not like this. Oh, okay. Well, we need to meet Elizabeth or Isabella. Wow. And here, meet Cassandra. Oh, Matthew's going to cook for everyone? Are you actually going to cook? Oh no, we can... He just got, like, food out. Okay, cheese and bread. Yeah, why don't you grab serving? That was a very... Matthew is a good host. Okay, Isabella finally comes inside, so you will have to meet her as well. She's about to be, hopefully, a child like you. Oh, Cassandra's a dog lover. We might have to get them a dog. That would be nice. Alright, now that they have fed us, they're like, you have a long journey. We really appreciate you coming. Gave us some bread and cheese. But I think I'm going to hop into Cass with their family and age up Isabella. Because we don't really have the ingredients to make a sponge cake and Matthew doesn't or Adam doesn't have the skill to make a sponge cake. So we will age her up and give a little update to her appearance and do their death rolls. Alright, here is Isabella. So so cute. One of the new hairs I downloaded and I'm obsessed. Um she also got the open-minded, squeamish, and lazy traits. I made her social. So while we're in cast, I had already updated Gunther before recording, but while we're here, let's pull up our death rolls. And so this is little Gunther with like golden eyes, very cute, but we're going to roll for him first. 
So for an infant, you can't do 12, 16, or 18. This one doesn't count. Okay, wish it counted. But seven, okay. And he survives. Now for Isabella, can't be nine or 19. 11, so they both make it. We are almost too lucky in this episode. All right, we are back here. Oh, failed introduction. Yuck, Adam thought toddlers were bad, but these infants are completely unmanageable. Could someone take this thing away? Oh, you are like an experienced dad. Don't think that. Oh, don't go, no, don't be mean. Um. Okay, it stopped raining. That's good. So maybe, uh, Thomas, you are cleaning up Isabella's mess. Let's, like, get to know our cousin. Don't argue about sharing. Maybe let's be nice and talk about your interests. I mean, they have a little bit harder archery. I don't think you're ready for that. That's kind of a long distance. But Matthew is an archer, so maybe you should hang out with your uncle and just leaving food all over the floor. Oh, okay. You're like, I'm using their water. <laughs> okay, Thomas would rather play with his toy. I think Isabella's begging for toys. Like, look at what Thomas has. I want it. Um, okay, Gunther went to sleep. I was like, no one is paying attention to the infant. No, no, she needed the monster sprayed under her bed. Like, ignore that. Okay, well, you can't use the chamber pot. Your dad's in there, but maybe you can grab another serving. So all of our households now have heirs, and that's kind of exciting because, I mean, Elizabeth, or Elizabeth, no, that's the child, Eleanor's family, won't come into play unless like a lot of bad things happen because first in line will be Thomas and then Peter and George and then Gunther and then if all four of them don't make it then it would probably go to like Marie and Beatrice before and then maybe Isabella or go to Eleanor's family at that point but a lot of bad things have to happen before that. I wonder if Matthew can teach. He's out there doing archery. I wonder if Matthew can teach him, but you should probably use the chamber pot and you are so tired. We'll go home soon. Um, yeah, that would be heckle. You can heckle him while he is arching, arching, doing archery, or you can cheer him. It'd be nice if, oh yeah, this is too hard for you. And so I wish he could give you like pointers. And maybe, like, he or even one of his sisters will enjoy a career. Like, I could see maybe Beatrice becoming, like, a midwife, potentially. I have a few. Uh, we also have, like, blacksmithing as well. And there's also a page. And I think there's a couple that children can join. Okay, it is getting late. Um, it looks like Matt Matthew's asleep. Tom and Adam wants to go to sleep. You know, maybe they'll spend the night here. It is a long trek, so they got to make it worth it. Oh, no. I thought Adam's spraying the bed. They, um, I think, are going to spend the night. Everyone's asleep, and we will take them home in the morning. Oh, Sandra, I think, was just, like, knitting or something. And Adam took Isabella's bed. Oh, so she has to sleep on the bench. Okay, we have some seed porridge um, for when we wake up. We might be waking up like super early because it's a long, a long trek home, especially without Noble. But I think maybe, oh, someone died. Ulfhild Unfri died. Okay. Um, but, but they both can't ride Noble. So maybe they hired someone to take them off to Henford on Bagley. So it is like 3.30 in the morning, but Adam, you're going to grab some seed porridge and we will probably get going home soon. I think Isabella can't wait till we leave. <laughs> this cannot be comfortable, but okay, you're done eating. Let's go home. Thank you for the hospitality. Can we um, steal this to sell? Thank you. Never know. Uh, it's a gift for being the head of the family, but 
we will take our son home and carry on. Okay, it's raining back at home. We got back 4.30 in the morning. Everyone's awake. George can coo. Let's hopefully they have great needs. Okay, they do. Love it. Well, here, why don't you use the chamber pot? Frequently hiccups. Cute. But the goal for today, we're going to do a yard sale or a street sale and hopefully make some money to pay our bills. Can you clean up, please? And um, I think I'm also making upgrades to the house for now, but we need to pay our bills and then hopefully we can make enough to get a blacksmith table again. Okay, she doesn't like to clean up the dishes. A noble needs fun though. Why don't we go try to mount her, Marie, and go for like a quick ride? Oh, are you doing tummy time? Oh, they never, they never do tummy time. It's so busy. Okay, but what? Oh, the chickens are um making some more chicks. It looks like. But we have a couple of eggs we can collect, and you can clean the coop. Is this okay? That's clean. So, Thomas, why don't you come and sit here and you are going to practice your reading. We want you to be a smart boy. I know you need fun, hopefully. It might be frustrating at first, but hopefully it will be fun. Um, Marie has like horse riding level two. Let's go for an energetic ride. And she really wants to steal something. Okay, we do have a hatchable egg. Please no one throw this one away. Oh, they were flirting. I think we're going to have her finish her hoop before we have Adam sell it. So come inside. Here, you're not supposed to be using an umbrella. Marie is motor level five. Oh, your tooth hurts. And the leaves are falling. Oh, it's almost winter. And how much is a cow? I know... It's not going to be smart, but they don't know that we have a famine coming up and we won't be able to keep it, but it's like 400 for a cow. Okay, I want Marie to finish her ride. It's also only not even 8 in the morning. So awkward. And all oh, Sarah and Peter are jokesters. I mean, I already kind of forgot George is intense. Uh, okay, you... Just listening to your brother. Yeah, you can go to sleep. You're going to be, need to be fed soon, but we will be heading out in a little bit to do a street sale. You want to just go check on Peter. Thomas and Beatrice are doing their thing, being very good. And Marie is still... Oh, wait, hold on. Whoops. Here, still off on her ride. A lady is getting old, and so is Egbert, but endurance level four. Sims will now be able to ask about endurance training a noble, and she will now become less fatigued when using horse barrels or jumps, which we kind of never do. Beatrice finished her cross stitch, so we have a bunch to sell. Hopefully we can sell this plum bite, and uh, it's, I don't think it's going to be a very successful yard sale. We don't have much. Maybe we can grab some of the honey that's like poor quality and try to sell that. Okay, and then we will harvest all prairie grass. Last time we didn't get lucky, we got nothing from the prairie grass. Didn't find anything cool. All right, Thomas has been really dedicated to his reading, so you can take a break and get some stew. Look at, you're almost level two. And <laughs> Peter's playing in the chamber pot. Oh, I think everyone's getting sick. Oh no, you got the stripes. But I, I thought about adding like rolls for illness, but that could be too much. Oh, we got a strawberry. That's not too helpful. Adam, let's go. And we will hopefully, if we can make at least like three or 400, I think we will be on track. Oh wait, are they, they need a, a kiss first. Okay, now we can go. A painting's not done. We can't steal it, but okay. Where should we set up? We're at the library. Let's kind of come over here a little bit more in the middle and set our table up. 
We're going to try to do a 75% markup. I did put a couple of ingots on here so because we can't use them. But I didn't want to put too many, but we're going to try to sell our poor honey. None of it is good. Oh, but we still have a cross stitch behind John. Oh, that's a cute one. He walked up like he was going to buy something. Let's try a sales pitch. We never do this, but I don't know. The, the Fortini family, uh, we met one or two of the children. I think, I mean, their potential for our children to marry. So let's be on like a good standing with him. All right, we should, we're going to bring it back down to 50% for the markup. We are not going to make anything. We haven't sold one thing yet. The very fashionable man is back. Just, you want this cross stitch. Come on. We haven't sold one thing. We need to sell something. Oh, there we go. 27 bucks. Can we fit anything else? We're going to do another yard sale. We might just eat some of the honey. Okay. Another 27. Yeah, I'm going to remove one of the honeys. So hold on. Let's clear the table and I'm going to re-add it. I don't know if we can sell this on there or not. Hmm. But here, eat some honey. We'll put the other two up here and add everything back up. Okay, we have a few cross stitches now and they look good. They're actually complete. People, oh, hi, queen. Um, people were buying like unfinished ones. You would think they would buy these finished ones. No? Bella and Mortimer to the rescue. Oh, yes. 183. Okay, I feel slightly better. Ooh, I think we sold another honey. I don't know if we have anything else. Yeah, it looks like we can't sell this plum bite, so I will just sell it. 192. I don't know if we could, oh, where are you? Okay, go use the toilet. We're up to 723. We can almost pay our bills. So, um, okay, after we, we will try to sell these uh, as soon as you pee. He's very tired. He has worked so hard. It's 8 o'clock at night. We've been here all day. It was not off to a good start, but we really just need to sell one more thing. Like we have an unfinished one and they love un people love unfinished cross stitches. But if we can just sell sell this one, the one that John made would be great. Okay, 238. Bella bought another cross stitch. Okay, well, We'll see if Lena buys anything. Ooh, okay, 27, some honey. We can end this. Um, I think Jeffrey was coming, but let's clear that. So we'll put this in our inventory and yeah, sorry, you're late, sir. We're going home and paying our bills. You're exhausted, but all of your hard work paid off. Go pay those and then go to sleep. And hopefully everyone is not Terrible. I'm guessing, yeah, you're starving. They never take care of infants when you're away from the household. So go and breastfeed. Marie is doing great. You want to enthuse about candy. Okay, at least you guys aren't being mean to each other. Thomas, okay, I'm putting trash on the floor. Oh, you and Noble get along pretty well. Um, what does she want? Oh, there's some pets. It's almost midnight. We're gonna get them all to sleep. And I'm, I just can't believe how well <laughs> this has gone. So I need to also assign this bed to Marie. And this one's uh, to Beatrice and Thomas all the way up here by himself. Okay, I think this table was, no. Um, I know this works. I have used it. Okay, we'll have to rearrange this room. I I have definitely used these bunk beds before and they worked. So, um, okay, but you're asleep. And 
you guys aren't tired, but it is almost one in the morning. You can't be awake. Okay, now that everyone's asleep, I actually made it through everything I wanted to do. It went much quicker than I was anticipating. So uh, we have Sunday is the last day of 1311, and then on Monday it will be 1312, and we'll be getting closer to some more birthdays, um, but I am very happy we were able to meet all the family and Thomas is going to start learning what it takes to um, like be the head of a household and all of our food except for the cake is spoiled. So we're going to leave this one right here. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and if you're enjoying the series please make sure you are subscribed. I will see you all next time. Bye!